Hey, let's try some extruding and I'll show you how my extrusion cutter thingy works too. Um, all right, so we have got the block, I don't know, can you see that? Block of clay prepared in the plastic bag. I've got the corner cut out of the plastic bag. So now I'm gonna put this in the extruder. Like so. So I don't have any room for a follower yet. I'm trying to keep out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just getting the plunger set and I'm gonna do one length and then I'll pull it back up and put a follower in. Okay, I have this ruler here and it's set so that um, I, can, I can measure out my extrusion and cut it off to length without um, wasting anything because my my extruder frame or my extrusion cutter frame is only 11 inches along on the inside. So, all right, we're going to start extruding. And yes, I know that looks really gross. Okay, that's about, Ten and a half inches. I have my handy dandy um, cake leaven leveler, which I will use to cut this off right like that. Okay, so there's my extrusion. And we will come over here and tip this down here. So, you can see what I am doing. There, now you can see the extruder and the table. Okay, so we've got one extrusion there. I'll go get one more. So you can see that I've got these um, sitting on foam and that's because you can see the cutter, the, the wires are flat on the back. So if I were to just push it down, um, I might not get all the way through the bottom of the extrusion. So having the foam there gives me just a little bit of play. So, okay, you can see I've got my wires spaced I spaced these specifically so that it would cut exactly the amount of clay that I need for a 119 um, magnet using this size of extrusion. So I, all I need to do is line up my cutter and push through. And the foam is making it a little bit difficult, but not bad. All right, I'm just gonna stick my fingers in here and roll these so that I'm sure that they've cut through. Um, and I'm sorry you can't see it because the frame is too big, but I just wanted to make sure that they were cut all the way through. All right, so I'm just gonna lift these out. There, you can see. I've got perfectly sized discs. I can put these in a bag and have them ready to go for stamping. And I will show you how I do that too, because why not? We're here doing the thing. I'm gonna get my stamp. And my maker's mark stamp. So we've got, you know, little bits here that aren't going to be used. So those can just get put right back in the extruder. Um, 
Okay, so I've got the little disc here and I've got my stamp. So all I need to do is give it a press. Make sure it's even getting evenly pressed all the way around. Okay, that's good. Peel it up. I've got my maker's mark stamp here, so I'm going to line up my my top arrows here so that I know which way is facing up. Give that a little stamp down there. Can you see that? And then that can just pop off. And that's ready to blacken in the, the recessed areas with um, black underglaze. And that's ready to roll. Okay, I'm gonna get these bagged up and get my extruder cleaned out because I'm I've got stuff I gotta do later on today. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.